crucifixion. It is the central tenet of Christian faith and theology in parts of the 19th century. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. According to the scriptures that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Thus, the death and resurrection of Christ were proclaimed as belonging together at the very heart of the gospel. Christ did not go to the hell of the dumb, but to the hell of the just. In Holy Scripture, it was called Abraham's bosom. Christ's body did not corrupt in the tomb. It was in the Holy Sepulchre from Friday evening when he was buried to Sunday morning when he rose from the grave. When man dies, his soul is separated from the body. When Jesus died, his body and soul were separated. And according to St. John, an eyewitness, Many other signs of the Jews work in the sight of his disciples. If the resurrection did not take place, then Christianity is false religion. If it did not take place, then Christ is God and the Christian faith is absolute truth. He spent much time instructing the apostles. One of his most important appearances was to 500 disciples on a mountain in Galilee. When he gave the apostles the command to go forth into the world and teach countless of Christ's followers, laid down their lives in testimony of the truth of the resurrection.